Hello everyone and welcome back for another episode of Monday Night Gaming. Uh, we've just very, very quickly uh, run through and killed uh, Asmodan off camera because uh, that was more just ticking a box than anything. Uh, so, with today, I've managed to get through four out of six objectives on the destroyer rank already. Um, we're still carrying on with legendary gems uh, up to rank 45, uh, so that means we are heading back in with rifts. Uh, give us just a second and uh, we'll be in there. Alex. Yes. Uh, uh, greater rift. Uh, let's yeah. Let's uh, let's do a greater rift. Are you, are you happy to stay at torment ten, or do you want to bump it up to uh, like level forty six? Um, whatever you need is good with me, because don't forget I am oh, leagues you're, ahead. Yes, yeah, so you're you're working on the uh, uh, the lower gems anyway. Well, we'll put it up a little bit and see uh, see how scared I get. I can no longer speed rift build, so I'm going to be much closer to you throughout. Oh, uh, I think that's good. Ooh, frozen's. Wait, does that also mean you're potentially getting frozen by stuff? Uh, what do you mean? Well, before you used to just ignore Frozen's and, uh... Oh, I still ignore them. A perfect strike. I mean, I was never immune to them, I just ignored them. Oh, okay. I didn't really care. <laughs> that hasn't changed. Still have the survivability of a fat horse. Yeah, kind of. Conduit. Ooh, nice. Ooh. Yeah. Mm. Molten and general explodey things. I actually saw your health dip there. Yep, it does that from time to time. Since my build has uh, evolved over time, I've decided that things like I don't need an energy shield. <laughs> Yeah, so your health can just go up and down. At some point, I will change off the uh, Molten Wildebeest gizzard that I'm using, uh, but I think I need a lot more general vitality before I do that. Because at the moment, it, it does add a good, uh, like, 20% life equivalent in a shield. And that shield... has, like, shield penetration. Yes, I, except for just, you know, hitting for an absolute ton. Yes, except like, yeah, just brute force. <laughs> but because the shield comes back faster than my health comes back, it's uh, it's quite a good thing, and the Molten Wildebeest gives it adds, um, of course, to my just general regen. Not ready yet. Uh, but eventually I'll change it over for um, uh, perhaps the Enforcer one, you know, that increases your pets. Survivability. Uh, I think it's damage as well. I don't uh, honestly yeah, remember. It's probably both. Right, next area. Power pylon. A perfect strike. Wow. 4,295 million. <laughs> and that, that wasn't even a, a big one. I reckon it can get to over 6,000. I just got almost 9,000 million. <laughs> of course you did. But you are like 100 Paragon levels ahead of me, so... That doesn't make that much difference. Uh, plus the equivalent uh, gaming for uh, general equipment and everything else that goes with it. Yeah, I suppose. Turn this one into a pig. It's going to be very weird next season when uh, uh, I change over to being a barbarian, uh, being in the thick of it all and not, well, probably <laughs> not worrying too much about um, survivability. I'm anticipating many deaths for you. <laughs> well, that's just traditional. I, must heal. I might start uh, naming them uh, like the first, the second, the third. And... <laughs> You'll have to pick uh, gender-neutral names like Sam. Francis. <laughs> Needs more time. Yeah. 
Rory. Dude. My spirit grows up. So glad that we managed to get that uh, rift done in four minutes. Just, just <laughs> yeah, knowing that, too. knowing that when I reach that uh, point in the season journey, that I won't need to worry about it. The rest yeah. of it can, you know, you can just hammer at it until you get to it. But that, as an actual time. time limit, is a horrible time limit. Yeah, it's just a good job it doesn't need to be done solo. Yes. Well, even if it did, you'd probably be fine. I wouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty certain that there are speed uh, builds for Witch Doctors, but I've got no idea how they would play. I, I still barely know how this character plays. You're playing a character? Yes, this um, Invoker set kind of feels like Crusaders were always supposed to play. Or just charging in and let everything die on you. Oh wow, power. Like right oh. in the thick of it. Like really, really survivable. Not a huge amount of damage in bursts. Just yeah. like... With Guardian time. The Rift Guard right on me. Need more time. Oh, I instantly ran away from my wall of death. Yeah, I would. You have triumphed. Well, that's a good stack of uniques. Let's grab all of them. You and Urshi. Not let's grab Urshi, but uh, let's talk to Urshi. Alright, Jim of Rapacious Toxin is 45. And Bane of the Trapped is 44, so I need one, two, three. We could do it in uh, in one more Greater Rift. I Alas, uh, I don't have any Greater Rift Keystones, so we do need to run a regular. <laughs> but it looks like i got some interesting uniques. Let's uh, ID these very quickly. Yours. The Mortal Drama, that sounds like a cool thing. What was that? Oh, that uh, doubles the number of bombardment impacts. Ah, right. I have that in my cube already. Terror. Coils of the first spider. While channeling fire bats, I gain 30% damage reduction and 7,000 life per hit. That's quite nice. Yeah. Unexpected for fire bats, but... Uh, That's almost near the maximum for the life per hit, by the way. Uh, yeah, 80,000 is the maximum. Because <laughs> uh, I've got the stuff of uh, Chiroptera um, cubed as well. Uh, that could be an interesting one, so I'm going to put that in with everything else that I'm just holding on to in case it one day becomes useful. I should probably take the gem out of Gazing Demise now I think about it, but no, let's uh, let's leave it in there. We can salvage this, we can salvage Flesh Terror, we can salvage the other Gazing Demise, and we can salvage Sever, because I think I have one ready to go, yeah. Alright. Uh, Hadrig, you can take all of these things. This, this... Break them apart, break them apart. It's good that you uh, you can find more than one of the same type of unique in the uh, in the game. <laughs> yes. Otherwise, it would be very specific decisions of uh, how do I use these materials. All right, and uh, Paragon points. This was going to go into resource cost reduction. So just regular Nephilim lift rifts. <laughs> yes. A regular Nephilim lift. Yep. I can start collecting death's breaths oh, at a nice so leisurely pace. <laughs> Power pylon, let's go quick. Let's see if we can do it three minutes. <laughs> Wasn't that a shield pylon? It was. So what? <laughs> I wasn't reading, it said power claimed. <laughs> I mean, it's a good job that it was, given that you just charged into this pack, assuming that you would kill them quite quickly. I did kill them quite quickly. Hey, two uniques already. What? <laughs> no, that's wrong. 
No, it's very oh, it's right. <laughs> Rackle Scott. Wait, you're actually stopping to ID them. <laughs> hey, no time pressure, right? <laughs> So much for let's do it in three minutes. I mean, what are you going to do when you finish your conquest thing? <laughs> what sort of idiot said let's do it in three minutes? Hey! <laughs> I'm not an idiot. The not sort of idiot. That's the sort. Although um, the rifts that we are uh, ploughing through at the moment do make me think about uh, the survivability of my mobs because the Gargantrums have died a couple of times and uh, it could be that I need to start looking into pet survivability in order to keep uh, my progress fast for the uh, for the other rifts, especially if I'm going to be uh, trying to get to Greater Rift 50 by myself. Yeah, yeah that's always a concern. Well, not for you it's not, because you don't have pets or friends. Not ready yet. No. I've got a Templar, he sort of follows me around. I give yeah. him a thing which means he can't die, and then I rolled off Vitality and Plus Life on everything he owns. <laughs> so, so it's basically indentured servitude for him. Yeah. You can't die, you know, just uh, tolerate the torture. He seems to like it though, so it's alright. more time. It's good. Kill them before the uh, the orbiters really take effect. <laughs> yeah, it's nice that you get a small amount of wind up warning. <laughs> yeah. It needs more time. What's that shrine? Uh, frenzied, so we attack a little bit faster, but not really worth commenting on. Not ready yet. Your death comes. Yeah, I wonder if increased attack speed affects my uh, zombie dogs and the like. Should do. Because I always get the. I was going to say it should be an extrapolation of their damage. Yeah, I, I always get the feeling that they spend a lot of their time running between mobs. So I never feel like increased attack speed is massively beneficial unless I'm uh, playing a melee character. Or um, a wizard with chain lightning. Ooh, gem hoarder. I <laughs> see, see you just chasing him down with bombards. Little bastard. There we go. All right, I'm moving on. Um. I ran back for the other gems. Need more time. Your death comes. Ah, oh, the Pandemonium Fortress. I love this place. <laughs> it is actually one of my favourite places. Mostly because I've got such good memories of you dying in here. I've got amusing memories of me dying here, and I've got Battle.net's screwed up more than once memories of me dying here, and uh, mostly I have a very healthy respect for Malthiel. <laughs> yes, I just remember back to that first time that we were really pushing the season <laughs> yeah, and we, thought, and we jumped know, up to Torment much, 7, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah, how much harder can Torment 7 be over Torment 5? Really? Really? <laughs> it could be really that much harder. And not only that, Malthiel is like an entire Torment level higher than everything else. Yeah, because we just did uh, we just did him on Torment 4, and we thought, oh well, we'll do him on Torment 5, and that was fine. And then we were like, should we go to 6? Nah, let's go 7. <laughs> No, it's like not quite one shotted, but at the same time, not enough time to run between the healing fountains before you die. I'm pretty sure you got one shotted, and then I died very, very shortly afterwards. Yeah. You survived quite well, though. I, mean, I, I think it was your dodge that was keeping you alive. Do I've just uh, <laughs> lost a life, so I'm backing off. Loot the rep weapon rack while I'm here.
He needs more time. I'm contributing. I'm shooting over a gap that they can't reach me from. <laughs> I can't get my um, wall of death over it, so it's just my spirit barrage, and it's not even the main spirit barrage. It's the extra bits. That's just silly. Oh uh, yeah, I can I can see it sort of affecting them. There we go. Killed one. There we go. My my life is support. my life is back, so <laughs> I'm back in the game. Needs more time. There's like four death breaths in the middle of that. Yep, that's because there was a blue pack and a yellow in the middle of him. Good times. Always good when the area of effect bombardment can kill many things at once. Yeah, but my bombard doesn't really do most of my damage. No, most of your damage is done by other things attacking you. Actually, just... it's kind of done by the invoker set, just like as a passive side ability of me just punching things. So the punch doesn't do damage. <laughs> Neither does anything like really hitting me. I mean, it kind of does a bit, but that's not where most of it comes from. Done. Two great rift keystones, perfect, and one unique chest armor. I need to go back. Me another couple of boots. This looks like materials stuff. Is it horribly blue? It is. And the short man's finger. Hmm. Which is not better than my current one, despite the fact that my current one has a socket in it. Okay, well, let's uh, salvage both of them up. And with 408 uh, blood shards, like Kadala, give me some helmets, well. please. See you soon. See you soon. What a steal. None of these are Jerems. None of these are good at all. Adric, take all of these things off me. Alright, let's... Uh... Those bits off. Okay, well, with the two Greater Rift Keystones, uh, that should almost certainly get me to the uh, three gems at 45, which I need. Ah, oh, I should have held on to that short man's finger, actually, to um, potentially re-roll it into an ancient one. Oh, well. Too late, as they say. I'm sure you'll find another one. Yes. Are you ready for a Greater Rift? Sure. I love the insanity when you enter a rift for the first time. I, sometimes it's fine, and sometimes it's like, oh my god, what happened to the screen? Do you mean specifically when I enter? Uh, no, just uh, anyone. Me, you. Uh. Our viewers at home. Needs more time. Or in the office if they're watching at work, in which case bad people, but good people. Because this is obviously <laughs> worth watching. The code can to compile. Or lunch break, or, or, you know, just skiving off. Waiting for minions to do their work for them. Not ready yet. Delegation! It's the art of good business. I'm so glad that I didn't stop directly on that flame pit thing. Uh, flame bellows. I was like, oh, I'm quite close to it. And then it just started breathing and it missed me by like an inch. <laughs> oh, this rift is stupid. It's just pockets and nothing big. <laughs> 
just like the mobs from this rift. Needs more time. Hey, Paragon 500. Yeah, very well done. You're only 93 oh, Paragon levels ahead of me now. Even you have Paragon 4. Time. Love when I run on my horse and my little pet has to like, quadruple time it to keep up. <laughs> hot footing, hot footing master. <laughs> okay, I found a blue boggit. Well, once again, you passed me and I didn't actually see you on my screen at all. That could have just been no. me not being observant, but at the same time, I think. Well, it wasn't on my horse, I just walked ah. past you. <laughs> I just missed you in the crowd then. I suppose you missed all the barrels and stuff. Down. Oh, oh, oh. Yes, this is not a particularly fast drift, is it? Shield pylon. Needs more time. Coming down towards you. Needs more time. And while the shield pylon is on, stand in the middle of the mortar horde. The truth burns you. Okay, not that way. Back we go. So it must be up this way. Yes. Not yet yet. That time I saw you walk through. <laughs> My curse upon you. It is easy to All miss right. you though, if it's at one of the few points when you're not just accidentally <laughs> dropping barrels from the sky. <laughs> you're, you're quite nondescript. <laughs> yep. <laughs> the stealth crusader. Needs more time. I'm in the next area, by the way. Uh, I'm here as well. For a moment, I thought you'd already found the way on to the, <laughs> the next, next area. Paragon 408. Not ready yet. Need more time. You die! Not ready yet. Channeling pylon! Oh, cool. All of the grasping of the dead. Well, all of the wall of death. Yeah. Pretty much means I just start mashing my keyboard. <laughs> there is a lot of um, zombies just grasping from the ground. If I'm lucky, which I probably won't be, then I'll complete it this time. Uh, but if not, we do have another gemstone to go straight back in. Hey, Raziel. Hey, Raziel. How's it hanging? Ring, amulet, sword, enchantress focus, voodoo mask. Okay, gem time. One failed. One succeed. One succeed. One fail. So I just need two more and uh, I'll be 
golden. Paragon 501. Paragon 409 for me. Alright, I got three Paragon levels in that, so that's one, <laughs> two, three. Uh, Wrath of the Bone King looks so pretty, but it it's just <laughs> such an unimpressive thing. Yeah, it's like a big version of the Mad Monarch Scepter. Yeah. Uh, Ingium, that's an interesting one. Useful if I had stuff that was really reliant on there. Uh... Do you have it cubed yet? Uh, I do. Do you want it? Uh, I, I found it. Okay. As in, I also got one just then. Oh, right. <laughs> I wasn't looking at your stuff. I was only looking at mine. Well, I have. I oh, did you re refer to my Wrath of the Bone? Yeah, because, because it was ancient. It stood out. I wasn't really paying attention. All right. Kadala. Helm, 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 helm. Ooh, that's nice. Can I have it? That please, costs please, please, too please. much. Two split tusks, one worse than the other. Oh, you got two Roland strides, one worse than the other. Okay, that's all of them salvaged. And I am ready to go back in if you are. I am. Stepping up one level. Need more time. Well, this is it's quite good for me to test this because if I can survive these mobs in a two player, then I should be able to survive them by myself, even if I'm going slower <laughs> through the whole lot of them. Yes. Uh, it does make some sense. I mean, you might not be able to kill them in time, but you'll be able to survive them. Yeah. Yeah. And my, my killing speed will improve with my Paragon levels and as my equipment gets better. Not the other way then. No. Nope. There is nothing up there but war. And now some bodies. Good to know. Needs more time. I think once we're done with this rift, I'll take a look at the Enforcer gem and see um, what it actually Damn does. Good, good, good. All of the, out is over here. the zombies. Not ready yet. I am heading up towards you then. And dodging minor explosions. Need more time. Okay, we're 40% through this time. time. Hiding them behind a wall indeed. Yeah. <laughs> it's a little bit rude. No, you can't have my purple globes. A 
I grow in power. Congratulations. Thank you. Paragon 410. I feel like I'm almost racing along today. See, that's why I've had such a high Paragon level in comparison to you, is because the amount of XP you get on a higher thing just really ramps you up. Oh yeah, it's just the ability to survive at the higher levels that uh, determines whether you can actually do that. Yeah. Pylon. Need more time. Shield pylon hits. I'll Alex I'll runs into the middle time. of everything. <laughs> Need more time. Okay, just about a third left of the shield pylon. Not that you care about it. <laughs> Needs more time. Hey, Paragon 580. Power pylon. Your death comes. Not ready yet. Yeah, all of a sudden everything starts doing a hell of a lot more damage. You mean actually starts doing damage? I know, it was doing damage before, it's just significant. Shield pylon? Hmm? With a shield pylon on? Power pylon. We had a shield pylon on just before the power pylon. Yeah, yeah. But then you put the power pylon on and I noticed everything was starting to die a lot more. Right, I thought you meant all the monsters were starting to do a lot more damage. Oh, no. Well, no. yeah, it's because the shield pylon just ran out. No, 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 I meant I was killing things. Need more time. Not they were killing things. Very nearly Rift Guardian time. Need more time. I don't want to pop my abilities to kill go. me faster. Yeah. <laughs> Needs more time. Bang. Okay. Let's see what we've got here. Okay, Urshi. Uh, Multiple Wildebeest Gizzard and Gizzard. That's 3 to 45, which didn't announce anything, but let's just double check. It has ticked it off. Alright, and the other one, um, I guess, let's put it in the Gem of Toxin. Ah, it didn't work. Let's put it in the Gem of Toxin. There we go. The way opens before me. I cannot do that here. Okay, let's assign those Paragon points that I got. Critical hit chance and extra armor. Right, all in all, I consider that to be pretty darn successful. What did we get from this? We got uh, Tall Man's Finger again. Uh, Hellcat Waste Guard. Mm, bottom's Potion of Fear. String of Ears and... Mm, yeah, so these are all going to get salvaged. That's going to get dropped. I got some potentially marginally better shoes. <laughs> Hooray for extra shoes. All right, let's uh, get some helmets from Kadala. What a steal. Don't forget, luck always changes. That costs too much. That is ever so slightly better than what I'm using, and it actually improves Spirit Barrage, which I'm already using. So I'm going to switch over to that. Lovely. 
Alright, uh, Shen. Let's take the gem out of this. No, oh, no, they're not. They're not better. And put it in this one because they've already got a different sort of resist on them. I need to change the the way it looks though, so that it suits my uh, proper attire. Right, uh, transmogrify. There's Carn Evil, and let's get some dye for it as well. No, not from Shen. What am I doing? Ooh, it doesn't have the the one that I wanted. Well, there are plenty of other vendors. No, no, we're we're going with the first one. We're going to just make it red. That'll do. Okay, well, uh, I think that's probably a good point for us to finish this evening. Uh, thank you very much for watching, everyone. I hope you've enjoyed the uh, step through of the season journey that we've been doing uh, no doubt we'll be back next week for more Diablo 3 as part of Monday Night Gaming and hopefully uh, we'll finish off the uh, Destroyer level for me and move on to the Conqueror level um, which Matrix is already working through either way, uh, hope to see you soon